Section 8.3 deals with how volcanoes affect uh, our land, our air, and the water. Um, well, it doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to, to figure out some of the immediate effects of volcanic eruptions. Um, the lava coming out, it's going to pretty much knock down, run over, burn everything in its path. Uh, lava will flow kind of like water does downhill. We'll find the easiest path, uh, but nothing's going to stop it um, as it's moving down. Uh, volcanic ash that's going to affect the land. It's going to be heavy. It's going to cause roofs of buildings to collapse. It's going to cause trees to collapse. Um, mud flows, when that mixes with the melted, uh, with all the heat, the melted snow, uh, it'll make mud flows that'll flow down uh, the sides of the hill and those won't stop either. Those will just run over everything in its path. We talked about pyroclastic flows. Uh, those are thing, uh, ash and gas and, and rock particles flowing down the side of the hills into the valleys, uh, super high speeds, landslides, um, parts of the hills might actually break free and, and push down the hill. Uh, and then steam explosions. Well, these are kind of uncommon to see, but uh, they do uh, when they're in contact with water. When that hot magma reaches water, it's going to turn into steam. And if it happens quick, uh, it's going to cause a huge explosion. Uh, some of the long-term effects uh, of a volcanic eruption, buildings are going to get destroyed, cities are going to be buried, um, and um, hardened lava is going to uh, cover roadways. Uh, good thing is over time, this hardened lava does break down. We do know that it uh, does weather, and some of it does erode, um, and it does turn into rich soil that farmers can use to, to grow crops on. Um, that's how it affects land. Uh, how does it affect air? Well, the sulfur dioxide, it's kind of the, the smell of rotten eggs almost. Um, that gets in the air, mixes with the water in the air, uh, comes down as acid rain or acid snow or sleet. Um, volcanoes are huge sources of acid forming gases. They spew gases up into the air. Uh, volcanic gas and ash can be lifted high up after uh, in the air, in the atmosphere. Uh, winds will catch them and carry them. Uh, the, the 1980 eruption in Mount St. Helens actually, uh, ash fell 250 miles away, uh, blocked out sunlight during the daytime that uh, the streetlights actually turned on. Um, so that's another way that they can affect the, Incoming uh, message. the air. Another thing that uh, volcanic activity does when it affects the water, well, one, if the ash gets in the water, even a small amount of ash will cause the water to um, uh, become undrinkable. Uh, because ash is not just like the ash you think about with fires. Uh, ash is actually just small, tiny, microscopic pieces of rock, jagged edges. Um, and once that gets in the water, it's hard to filter out. Um, and if you breathe it in, enough ash breathing in can actually cause harm to your body because you're breathing in these little ash particles into your lungs, these little jagged pieces of rock, even though they're really small, will make microscopic tears in your lungs uh, and cause your lungs to bleed. They'll cause that mixing with the moisture in your lungs and it actually can make like a cement inside your lungs so your lungs actually fill up with this, this ash and will harden into cement and you won't be able to breathe because the lungs will be too full. Um, um, but, I don't know why I went off into that, but volcanic does uh, activity does affect water. Uh, hot springs. Hot springs are just areas where water is near the surface and the ground around it gets heated and it causes that water to rise as a hot spring. Uh, a geyser is a type of hot spring. You guys probably know geysers where they're just shooting water up into the sky. Um, Old Faithful is probably one of the more common ones. Um, and a fumarole, uh, it's similar to a hot spring. Uh, instead of liquid and steam, uh, instead of liquid, steam and gases are released, not just the, the liquid coming up. Steam and gas will come up only. Um, there are deep sea vents, uh, which are just basically holes that, that form underwater. Um, near spreading centers um, where seawater gets it gets heated by this hot rock around it as the magma is rising 
and the hot water comes out. Well, with these deep sea vents, uh, the temperature of the water is very hot. Uh, one wouldn't think anything could live there, but there are things that do live there. Um, there are lots of dissolved minerals, because remember, hot water does dissolve some minerals. Um, and as the water cools, the uh, minerals do uh, reform. Uh, we talked about that with gold. Um, gold being one that if the water's hot enough, it will dissolve it. Um, and then when it, la uh, when it stops and it cools, it becomes gold, back, uh, gold again. And um, some of those minerals do that. Um, deep sea vents support really weird life. Uh, crabs uh, that are huge, but they're blind. Uh, tube worms that measure 10 feet long. Uh, these tube worm type things could be 10 feet long. Um, they basically just these creatures feed off of other creatures that you wouldn't think, you know, we would not be able to survive in that environment around a sea vent uh, just because uh, the pressure and the heat and the bacteria. Uh, but there are some things that can grow there um, and survive, and uh, there are other animals that will uh, survive off of those creatures as well. Um, so, here are some review questions. Describe how heavy ash can uh, affect your surface. Um, we talked about some of those things. Uh, now, if you don't know the answer to these, you're going to need to go back in and, and check it out. Uh, describe how volcanic gases can affect weather around the Earth. Um, why do hot springs occur in areas where there are volcanoes? Um, and which one do you think is more dangerous, a mud flow or a pyroclastic flow? Um, there is no right or wrong. Um, it's a personal opinion. Um, one seems to be a little bit more um, dangerous, but um, I'm going to let you come up with your own answer on that one. So um, good luck uh, finishing up the rest of your work, um, and hopefully you can get all your your menu done and we can get going on on the assessments